With the millions and millions of dogs out there, we rarely think of the dogs that aren't so common, the ones that you don't just see out on the streets every day. Or maybe we're wrong and you're a dog lover and you think about this all the time. Either way, these are dogs that you're just not going to run into at the dog park or come across like literally anywhere, probably ever. With that being said, this is the world's rarest dog breeds. Number 12, Azawak. Wow, these pups are skinny, but we guess that's just how they're supposed to be. West Africa is where you'll find the Azawak guarding livestock or hunting, and that's pretty much the only place that you'll find them. They are pretty uncommon in North America and Europe, but they are gaining popularity slowly. They're a breed of sight hound that is similar to both South Indian and Middle Eastern sight hounds with a few differences. They have really long legs with a short, flat back, which makes the hips sit higher than the withers. It's also very thin and almond-eyed and moves almost like a cat. They're relatively small, standing only between 24 and 29 inches and weighing 33 to 55 pounds, but that doesn't mean they aren't tough and they will defend themselves and their family if needed. Maybe someday we'll see these dogs become more widespread, but for now, they remain, for the most part, in West Africa. Number 11, Carolina Dog. This pup is typically found in the Southeast United States and is a medium-sized, feral pup. They usually live and roam cypress swamps and isolated, unpopulated stretches of longleaf pines. More recently, people have decided to make the dogs domestic pets, and with proper work and socialization, they can become a pretty darn good pet dog. A publication by Glover Morrill Allen in 1920, Dogs of the American Aborigines, was one of the first and earliest articles to document the different Indian dogs of the North American continent. The idea was that the dogs descended from primitive Asian dogs, which means that the dogs were probably carried from Asia to all inhabited parts of the world. Not just the Carolina dog, all domestic dogs. Anyway, this little dog, which reaches only between 17 and 24 inches tall and 30 to 65 pounds, is gaining some steam and popularity. Number 10, Catahoula Cur. This dog breed must be decently rare because we've never heard of such an animal. It's a breed that's apparently named after Catahoula Parish, Louisiana. It actually even became the state dog of Louisiana back in 1979 and is sometimes referred to by many different names, including the Catahoula Leopard Dog, Louisiana Catahoula, Catahoula Leopard Hound, or the Catahoula Hound. They're typically working dogs and help in hunting wild boar. They grow to be 20 to 26 inches tall and can weigh anywhere from 40 to 112 pounds. They're energetic and smart and usually are pretty even-tempered and are not known to be aggressive. This dog breed was a known favorite of many hunters, including President Teddy Roosevelt. Number 9. Lundehund This dog with a fun name is from Norway and is a little breed of dog of the Spitz type, which just means that they're a domestic dog with thick, long, pretty, often white fur and a pointed muzzle and ears. The breed was initially created specifically for hunting puffins and for finding their eggs, and their name means, well, just that. Lunda in Norwegian means puffin and hund means dog. One crazy thing about this dog is its feet. They usually have six toes per foot, which all contain muscles and joints and are fully formed. In fact, it barely even looks creepy, which you can see here, and with their cute faces, it's easy to get past. When we said these dogs were little, we meant it, as they only weigh 13 to 15 pounds and stand just 12 to 16 inches tall. The Norwegian Lundehund is unlike any other dog, and if you're looking for a puffin hunter, this may be the dog for you. Number 8. Moody this dog is a Hungarian herding dog breed that is bred mainly for sport, work, show, and companionship and are still used in herding today. They were first discovered as a breed in Hungary by Dr. Dejo Fenyes in 1936 and sadly, shortly after their discovery, Moody's nearly disappeared because lots of them perished during the Second World War. Their origins can be traced back to the 15th century but their exact start is hard to pinpoint. They're 15 to 19 inches tall and 18 to 29 pounds with medium length curly or wavy hair, and their tails could be any sort of length. They're great hunters and guardians for flocks and are excellent guard dogs with high-pitched barks, but they're very active and you better be ready to be busy with one of these. Good luck finding one, as there are less than a thousand that exist today. Number 7. Neapolitan Mastiff did you know that the Neapolitan Mastiff is an ancient dog breed? We didn't, but that's cool to know. These giants are usually purchased to defend and guard a family and property, but they typically become part of the family pretty quickly. They do need to be well socialized with children because they are big and strong and don't always know or remember their own strength. It is said that they will, most times, protect their owners with their lives, so if you want a loyal to the death, ride or die like that, the Neapolitan Mastiff could be what you're into. And if you're into rolls and floppiness and excess skin, that is just absolutely adorable, this is probably exactly what your heart desires. These adorable pups typically reach 24 to 29 inches tall and weigh 110 to 130 pounds, and they're mainly made up of muscle. Oh yeah, they also drool a lot, so be ready for that. 
Number six, Sholoitz Quinley. This furry little, oh no, wait, furless little dog is also known as the Mexican hairless dog and comes in standard, mini, and toy sizes, so you can get your weird on no matter what your size preference. We do just have to say that the minis and toys are actually pretty cute though. Archaeological evidence of these dogs has been discovered in tombs of various cultures, including the Mayan, Toltec, Colima, Zapotec, and Aztecs, which means that the breed was around at least 3,500 years ago. They've been known as protectors and guardians for forever and were believed to keep homes and owners safe from intruders and evil spirits. At times, they would be sacrificed when their owners passed on so that their souls could travel together to the underworld. They're highly smart, high energy, and quite inquisitive and are one of the most unique and rare dog breeds in the world. Number five, Salish Wool Dog. This was kind of a sad one to come across, considering that they are extinct. They were Spitz-type dogs with their long white hair and were bred by the native people in what is today British Columbia and Washington. They were real woolly, hence where they got their name, and the Salish people didn't have sheep, so they would shear the wool off of the dogs every May or June and make rare and famous Salish blankets from the trimmings of the dogs. These pups looked cute. It's too bad none of us will ever get to meet one. Talk about rare. Number four, Thai Ridgeback. This is another ancient race of dog that was also recently established as a standardized breed. The dogs are slowly gaining traction and popularity in the Western world. However, just a few years ago, they were hardly known outside of Thailand. There are three dog breeds that have one ridge of hair that runs down their backs in the complete opposite direction of the rest of their hair growth, and the Thai Ridgeback is one of them, hence the name. They're medium-sized dogs and stand between 20 and 24 inches at the shoulder and weigh between 35 and 60 pounds. The breed was originated in eastern Thailand and was reproduced there pretty much exclusively by natural selection until very recently. They're brilliant, loving, loyal pets and love to play. You just gotta get one out of Thailand and you're all good. Number three, Otterhound. This fluffy, cuddly looking dog is an old British breed of dog that's recognized as a vulnerable native breed by the Kennel Club as there are only 600 worldwide. They're big, really rough coated animals, as you can see in this picture, that were initially, like many on this list, bred for hunting. They're tough pups with strong bodies and long striding steps, which make performing tough work for extended periods possible for them. They can hunt by land or by sea, and they share characteristics that are unique to hounds, webbed feet and a double coat that is both really oily and rough. They weigh somewhere between 80 and 115 pounds and have super sensitive noses, which they can use to track through the water and mud for 72 or more hours. They are also the most endangered native breed in all of Britain, and there were only 41 new registrations in 2016. If you want one, you'll have to pick one of 600 families to fight for theirs. Good luck. Number two, Pachon Navarro. This excellent medium large sized Spanish dog was used for hunting back in the day when it was believed that they had extra sensitivity to smells due to its double nose, as you can see. Yes, the Pachon Navarro has a dual or split nose and people used to believe that it had much better, more enhanced smell, so they chose it as their hunting buddy. It's known today that the nose thing is only a cosmetic difference and has no bearing on how well they can smell. They usually have short hair that can come in multiple color patterns, brown and white or orange and white, generally ticked like the fur of German short-haired pointers. They weigh 60 to 73 pounds, so they're pretty substantial and they only stand 19 to 22 inches tall. They reached peak popularity in the 18th and 19th century and almost became extinct. But few enthusiasts managed to save the breed. And now, as of March 2007, there were more than 70 known purebreds and the breed is growing. Number one, Tibetan Mastiff. This giant dog is obviously a big Tibetan breed that originated alongside the nomads from Tibet, India, China, Nepal, and Mongolia. They were used as protection for sheep from predators such as bears, leopards, large mustelids, tigers, and wolves. It has been used and kept as a pet by Tibetan nomads for thousands and thousands of years and is well known for its loyalty. The original breeds of these dogs, like the one you see in this picture from their native lands, typically weighed in around 121 to 198 pounds. But some have been bred in Chinese and Western kennels that have reached weights of over 254 pounds. They're great family dogs and will protect you and your family to the end. That is, if you've got a bit of money to buy one, as they're one of the most expensive dog breeds in the world. 
Pure Tibetan Mastiffs are extremely rare, and in 2011, a Chinese coal baron bought Big Splash, a red Tibetan Mastiff, for 10 million won. That's $1.5 million. How can we just sit here and handle watching all of this adorableness on our computer screens and not want to go out and love on a dog? If this video got you wanting a lot of love from a big old cuddly happy machine, give it a like, comment below, share, subscribe, and watch out for new videos every day. Thanks for watching. Wow.